There are many unusual, yet not always successful, locomotives which have appeared over the last 150 years in Britain. None less so than the fireless experimental steam locomotive, known now as Fowler's Ghost. This is the nickname given to an experimental 240 steam locomotive designed by Sir John Fowler and built in 1861 for use on the Metropolitan Railway, London's first underground railway. The broad gauge locomotive used exhaust recondensing techniques and a large quantity of fire bricks to retain heat and so prevented the emission of smoke and steam in tunnels obviously of great benefit for a rail system that is confined to underground. Following trials on the Great Western Railway in 1861 and in London in 1862, the locomotive was considered a complete failure. During its first trial, it came near to exploding. Also, problems with steaming and with pressure retention were never solved. The locomotive was sold in 1865 with the intention to convert it into a conventional steam engine. However, it was quietly scrapped in 1895. The locomotive was considered quite an embarrassment to its designer, the respected engineer Sir John Fowler, who later went on to design the fourth rail bridge, and its existence was denied for many years. The nickname Fowler's Ghost was given to it by the Railway Magazine in an article published in January 1901, which, subsequently, has grown to become the standard reference name for the engine. The Metropolitan Railway, the underground, was designed to run through tunnels in railway cuttings which had been covered. At a Railway Select Committee in 1855, Fowler had stated his intention to start with our boiler filled with steam and water to such a capacity and of such pressure that it will take its journey from end to end. To avoid issues with smoke and steam overwhelming both staff and passengers on the underground sections, Fowler proposed a new and unique fireless locomotive. However, early experiments with these steam accumulator locomotives had in fact failed. The locomotive was built by Robert Stevenson and Company at their works in Newcastle-upon-Tyne. It was built to broad gauge specification with a 240 wheel arrangement with tender. The boiler had a normal firebox connected to a large combustion chamber containing a large quantity of fire bricks, which theoretically was supposed to act as a heat reservoir. The combustion chamber was linked to the smoke box through a set of very short fire tubes. Exhaust steam was then recondensed instead of escaping and fed back to the boiler. The locomotive was intended to operate conventionally in the open, but in tunnels a damper system would be closed and steam would be generated using the stored heat in the fire bricks. As the Metropolitan Railway was still two years from completion, the initial trial was held on the broad gauge Great Western Railway in October 1861 on the line near Hanwell Railway Station. Sadly, the trial was an abject failure, with the locomotive completing only 7.5 miles, or if you prefer, 12.1 kilometres. The condensing system leaked, causing the boiler to run dry and the steam pressure to drop. As a result, the boiler feed pumps jammed, creating a very dangerous situation where the boiler could overheat and explode. In conventional coal-fired locomotives, normal procedure is to drop the fire onto the track to prevent explosion. However, no provision had been made for discharging the fire bricks, which provided most of the heat. An explosion was very narrowly avoided. After a second failed trial on the Metropolitan Railway between King's Cross and Edgware Road Station in 1862, further development work on the locomotive ceased. Interestingly, Cuthbert Hamilton Ellis, an English railway writer and painter and an associate of the Institution of Locomotive Engineers, noted that the engine was a fine, sturdy creation, but the trouble was that her boiler not only refrained from producing smoke, it produced very little steam either. In 1865, the locomotive was sold to Isaac Watt Bolton, 
he had intentions to convert it into a standard engine, and even commissioned drawings for a new conventional boiler and for its conversion into standard gauge. However, the conversion was left incomplete when Bolton's locomotive hire business ceased trading in 1894. The locomotive was eventually scrapped a year later by Bayer, Peacock & Co. in 1895. We hope you've enjoyed this video about yet another quirky British locomotive. Please like, share and subscribe for many more peculiar locomotives.